Hello everyone, I am going to make a presentation on SIS documentation requirements. This video is being taken on behalf of instrumentationtools.com and automationcommunity.com. Kindly watch and subscribe to the channel. SIS documentation. It involves different type of documentation. First one is LOPA documentation. LOPA stands for layer of protection analysis. The LOPA team provides the below information for documentation which is having SIF number, safety instrumented function number, SIF specification, brief description of what the SIF is trying to accomplish and how it is stripped. In the safety instrumented function, what is the intent and how the trip action is being carried out. This is being described. LOPA reference information. Each LOPA will have multiple scenarios and in that scenario there will be number according to the plant location and equipment location. So this will be the process area of the respective plant with code. Each plant will have in any code for the respective industries. So that will be there. Description of credible scenario. Whatever scenarios that are uh, uh, having credibility and which is uh, having the target factors under different circumstances. So that will be there. And the reference of all LOPA initiating events where SIF is used. LOPA, as we know, it is having multiple scenarios involved, and each scenario is having a different initiating event. So, wherever the safety function is uh, being built based on a particular scenario, the reference number is has to be included. So, reference of cases, if multiple cases are involved, there could be multiple scenarios, for example, on a boiler or a heater, furnace, there could be a fuel gas high pressure and there could be a fuel gas low pressure. On both the conditions, the main block walls, main inlet walls has to be closed as a safeguard to protect the boiler. So, these two on a files, these two on a files will be a part of two different case scenarios that's what it's having multiple cases any sharing of instruments details use the pndid tag logic solver tag or sensor description there could be some possibility where one sensor is being used in the multiple scenarios but ideally as for functionality they will be working independently but uh, because of the physical Installation requirements and challenges that could be one transporter. This will be very minimal in the plant. Place of protection analysis assets all LOPA references numbers to be updated. Next one is proof test, it is another critical and vital parameter for the plant safety operation. So, the documentation proof test is also an important activity as part of the safety instrument system documentation. The plant shall maintain records that certify that proof tests and inspections are completed as required because this is part of the audit requirements also whenever any external third party agencies like a Bureau Veritas, TUV or some other major international concerns may be visiting the facility and then do an audit on the facilities and the audit will be on different sections and exclusively they will have some specific days for the safety instrumented, safety instrumented system. So during that time also these records need to be shown. These records shall include the following information as a minimum. The type, details of tests and inspections performed. This is for the proof test. Date on which the tests and inspections taken up. Maintenance person name who performed the tests and inspections. Instruments, valve, serial numbers, or other unique identifier, for example, it could be loop number, tag number, equipment number, and a safety instrument function number. Again, this as per the geographical location of the company, governmental regulations, and the company's own management directions, it could be different from each plant. The results of the tests and inspections and values that is as found and as left conditions during the initial period of test, initial point of test, the uh, results could be different. For example, if it is a 0 to 10 kg per square centimeter transmitter sensor, 
it could read 0 to 9.8 or 9.6. 99% will be accurate, but there could be a little bit of change or drift inside the uh, sensor body. And uh, when it is calibrated, when it is tested, the accuracy has to be as close as to actual. Then some documentation need to be kept in the library, which are for the plant lifetime to do the maintenance. Documentation requirements include LOPA, operation and maintenance procedures, result of the hazard and risk assessment, LOPA worksheet if required according to process risk management standard. LOPA worksheet has to be kept safely. LOPA notes and calculations. When the LOPA is developed and the different safety layers are determined, that goes through a risk management strategy. So those data has to be updated. LOPA notes and calculations. While doing the calculation for the probability of failure, demand and safety integrity level, etc., there will be some assumptions because every scenario, every plant condition cannot be done as a physical. So there could be some some risk measurement requirements. So those has to be updated. Safety requirement specifications. Safety instrumented system loop documentation forms. Assumptions used when determining the safety integrity levels. Calculations of probability of failure and demand. Again, these are all the calculations based on the plant safety instrumented system installation. This is done at the beginning of the project or beginning of any additional facility involving safety instrumented systems are being built. And SIS maintenance procedures, a detailed written proof test procedures, validation procedures for each element of the safety instrumented system, commissioning procedures. These are the different documents also need to be maintained in the library for the future reference. SIS operating procedures, records of verification and validation, system validation, periodic and automatic test results, results of assessments and audits. Modification information and documentation. MOC stands for management of change. Any modification done on the safety instrumented system loop are to be documented and they have to pass through one MOC system, management of change system, which requires a different levels of approval. As part of uh, this documentation, the safety instrumented systems, safety instrumented functions also need to be earmarked exclusively in the piping and instrument drawing and id so safety instrument function shall be according to international standards if you see here it will be like that the sensors elements which are involved in the this loop will be identified with a hexagonal symbol and the shift number it is a section symbol means it is used in the safety instrument system as a SIF function and it will have a it will carry a number all components in this slope like sensor panel element get the same SIF number so it will have a same SIF number which is acting based on a particular hazardous condition and a particular scenario these are the standard documentation that ought to be maintained as part of the safety instrumented system Thank you.